people of the internet and welcome to this first video in this quick series we're going to do. This is the Turtles in Time Reshelled. They released this a few years ago. Uh, it's got a remake of the Turtles in Time that was originally back on the Super Nintendo, which we did just about uh, a few weeks ago. We finished up with that one. So I thought we'd go ahead and just kind of move right into the uh, remastered or reshelled version here. So uh, we'll kind of get right to it here. Uh, we're going to just play normal just so we can kind of get through. Uh, they all have their own stats here, different range, speed. Um, defense, rush attack, um, but I always play as Donnie. So we're going to go ahead and choose Donnie, and we'll move right into the first level. We'll probably do two levels uh, per video like I did with the last playthrough, if you watched that. Um, so we'll just do the first two levels here and kind of get right to it. Uh, so you can move in any direction. You can attack in any direction, which is pretty cool. Um, and the uh, jump attacks are a little bit different. Uh, you still have the jump and dash attack like that. But the one attack that they're missing is the one where you can get at the top of your jump, and right, at your, right as you're at the top, you can attack and you'll do like a spin jump attack, so that's not here. Uh, but everything else is pretty much spot on here, um, so we'll go ahead and kind of get right through this first level. And the first one is one of the attacks like that, throw attacks, that was cool. So it looks like every attack, or every defeat, is 10 points, no matter how you defeat them. It looks like either with the throw attack or with the regular attacks or smashing attacks so oh, okay not bad um, and the special attacks here are this well at least for Donnie it's the same animation and it doesn't actually take any of your health away in this game uh, which is very helpful the other one would uh, decrease it by a little bit so I could technically just go through and do special attack all the time I'm not gonna do that though but oh, wait I'm getting strangled jeez I wasn't watching <laughs> and I do remember that some attacks were five as well. Um, I don't know what kind of attacks would give you five points, but I'll figure it out here. Let's blow those guys up. I oh, know. All right, so there was a five-point uh, attack. I don't know what that was. Maybe from using an object in the uh, in the environment. Maybe I don't know. There's a throwing. The throwing down's a little. Throwing is a little bit difficult. Compared to oh, there's crane. Compared to the original game, you've got to kind of get close to them and hold the attack button rather than first hitting them, stunning them, and then grabbing them. So uh, we'll get used to it. I think the uh, I think the the bosses and everything are pretty much the same. Um, so we're gonna have to fight Shredder in a key, in a few levels and be able to throw the guys at him. I think so. I'll uh, hopefully get used to it by then. Don't know what the goal is as far as. Um, how you get an extra life as far as points. In the original one, it was every... I think it was every 200. Um, so, I don't know what it is in this one, but we'll just keep racking up the points and beating down some foot here. Oh, here we go. We're right at the end, we've got the pizza there if we need it against Baxter, who should be coming up right now. There he is. All right, Baxter, bring it on. This is where the one... Um, the one attack helped a lot against Baxter in the original game when you had the spin attack in the air. Um, so it's not here, but eh, still should be pretty easy. And it should be, okay, there he goes. He brings out a second gun that has the weird orange or yellow arm that comes out. So I haven't got the pizza, I can get the pizza. Pizza time, yeah, sweet. Can't hit him when he's laughing, but oh well. Should get him in just about two more hits, one. Nope. One and two. Nope. That wasn't a hit. That is, though. Awesome. Down goes Baxter. We're done with number one. Sweet. And they've got a summary here. Score of 685. No deaths. That's pretty sweet. Alley Cat Blues. Alley Cat Blues. Moving on to the next with Metalhead. So, yeah, I do like the the remake or the reshelled version here. Um, you know, it's it's very true to the original. It's got the same layouts as far as the uh, the, the levels go. The same enemies kind of seem to be about the same as well. And the animations are, are relatively the same as well as far as the, um, the boss battles and uh, the turtles' special attacks and things like that. The, the levels are a little bit more zoomed in than the original. The other ones seem to be out a little bit more, and you can kind of see a little bit more of each scene. Um, but it's not bad. Um, I, I prefer the original, but um, it's really cool that they did decided to do a remake, a remastered version or whatever. And 
Uh, the one thing I don't like is the, the music is a little bit different. Yeah, it's not spot on as far as the you know, the same tracks. I think they kind of retooled them a little bit. Uh, some of them are, are very similar or even exactly the same, just with a you know a updated version. But meh, overall, I think it's a pretty sweet remake, and it's and it's fun to play. It still has that beat 'em up action. But I, if I had to choose two, I would go with the original, just because I'm nostalgic like that. I think the foot needs to do a little bit more training, um, because there's like almost eight or ten foot on screen at one time, and they barely even hurt me. But I'm also playing on normal, which, just to do it to have some fun and play through the game a little bit. Should have the spinning pizza, or the, well, in this one, it's a spinning pizza, in the original one it was like a little bomb thing, but this is a spinning pizza, wait for all the guys, and we'll do the spinning pizza. Nice. That racked up some points there. Now it looks like we're already up to Metalhead. That was uh, that was pretty quick, actually. Not that bad. Maybe we'll do a third. Maybe we'll do three levels per uh, per episode here. Maybe we'll just yeah. Well, I think we'll just keep it at two. So Metalhead's got all the same animations and stuff, and he's got the the. I don't think his legs spun around in the other one, they just kind of went up in the air, but uh, the up punch, the uppercut thing is the same there. Let's get the pizza. Um, but it is, is all very true to the uh, to the original. Oh, that's a cave is creepy. Didn't mean to fall down that. Uh, but he's actually pretty easy compared to, uh, compared to Baxter. He's not that bad. Right up in the foreground. Should be done in about two hits. Or no, his, uh, oh, his meter goes down a little slower. Three, four, there we go. Awesome! Down goes Metalhead. Sweet! So well, that'll kind of just wrap up the uh, the first video here in this quick playthrough. This should go pretty quick, probably just over the next couple weeks here, but um, I'll go ahead and wrap things up here. So thank you so much for checking this out. Um, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. That'd be awesome. And if you like the video, if you like this playthrough here, leave a couple likes down below. That would be greatly appreciated. And, um... If you have any ideas for games that you'd like to see, uh, let me know in the comments below, and if we've got them, we'll play you know, play through a couple videos. I've got games going all the way back to the Atari days, so um, I won't really run out of things to play here. Uh, but all in all, we'll just enjoy playing some games together. And uh, if you're interested in seeing the original playthrough of the Super Nintendo version, that's over uh, in the channel as well. The complete playthrough is there. But again, thanks so much for stopping by, and I will talk to you guys later. And as always, keep on gaming. Wonder what's next should be sewer surfing nice.